Hm. School meetup time. Uh, oh, are you from outside? Want to play? Tell my brother, Neb. I'm sure uh, he'll add you to our spy game. My brother, Neb, is spy number one, and I'm number two. Uh, spy's job is to keep an eye out and report to the big time hero, Azum, with surveillance about any. Uh, so we surveying this about any map people. Ah. But the lab on top of the hill to the east is too far, so I can go there. I wanted to apply to become a teacher, want to show children the joy of learning, no experience necessary. Inquire at the school for more information. Prospective applicants are welcome to sit in on a lesson. See me. Hmm. I've learned a bunch of ever since they started the school. Not every class is fun. History lessons put me to sleep sometimes. But I love it every time we learn about farming stuff. Wouldn't farming be taught you anyway in this kind of village? What? You want me to... You want to take the class? Have us, Mr. Simi? Uh, I wonder if Miss Zelda will be back at her home today. Maybe I'll go check after class. Uh, I don't really remember the other faces, but you were the ones. You, you look like one of the guys looking for the laboratory. Who are you, Mister? I'm a traveler. Wow, uh, you're. F You've come to watch her class? Well, it's starting soon. I got a little nervous that yeah, that someone's gonna be watching us today. Huh. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. ah. huh. What's up? Yes, yes, what is it? Oh, it's you, Link. Good, you remember me. Haven't seen you in... Link, you're back. Ah, my apologies for the outburst. Clearly you're back in town, then. Uh, but what about Princess Zelda? Hmm. Ah, Princess Zelda is still missing, which is the reason you came here alone. That makes more sense. Princess Zelda built the school, you see. She cares so much about the children. I'm sure this would be one of her first stops if she had returned. Ah. Right now, we're covering history. Which is very important to Princess Zelda. We're focusing on Hyrule's history alongside the Calamity. You know, Link, you're welcome to sit in on a to sit in on a lesson if you like. Yeah, what else do they know about history? Because their only backstory was the legend of the Calamity in the previous game. Yeah. Today's class will be a history lesson. The story of Haru is deeply intertwined with the Calamity, and there is no exaggeration or embellishment. The Calamity has been visited upon the land uh, of Haru several times before. It was sealed away 10,000 years ago by the sacred priests and a hero wielding the sword that seals darkness. Ah. Isn't that just a fairy tale? Come on, a few years ago you were seeing the castle from here. We can see the castle from here, right? No. Over time, history and legends sometimes spur together. Hmm. All this stuff about 10,000 years ago and such, who cares? Oh. You got any pictures or proof to back up this so called 10,000 year old calamity? Yeah. It's not fair to tell you, I assure you. These are real historical events. This is a problem, I need to show them some kind of depiction of the calamity from 10,000 years ago. Ah, can I get that thing in, in Kakariko? Otherwise, this lesson is over before I began. Hmm. I'm sorry, Link. This isn't how I thought the lesson would go. I had more foresight. I have borrowed the screen depicting the calamity from Lady Impa's Hall. 
Kakariko village where the hall is located is also in the Kluda, but it's too far to the northwest for a casual visit. Ah. If only I could show the children a detailed image of the screen depicting the calamity, I think they understand. Although I suppose it isn't lead impulse isn't lead impulse hall anymore now, is it? More accurate to call it Lady Paya's Hall. Teach me lesson one. <laughs> Interesting they'll have a few more of those. But I don't think it was marked with that red exclamation mark. Read student evaluations. First page. Esther is one of Meta's children. She's a very active girl. I believe we have Meta to thank for that charming bob cut she sports. She loves her father and always wants to talk about his comings and goings. Lately, she's been especially focused on the Highland Tomatoes Meta is growing. For a time, she seemed out of sorts after Miss Sissy brought bought her house next to the clothing shop. Aren't they living there anymore? But she was back to her usual bright self soon enough, noting that her new home is cute, colorful, and close to Froggy. Ah, they they live up there now. That I saw the drawings. <laughs> uh, she has a real knack for finding the silver line in every situation. Karen is the only daughter of the mayor and his wife. She is kind of hearted but shy and seems to lack self confidence. She is very perceptive though. She has a way of seeing right to the core of things. I'm sure you know, Princess, that Merit has been breeding vegetables to appeal to the younger generation. It was Karen who first noticed that her peers were losing interest in produce. She figured this out based on nothing but the number of customers and total items in stock at the general store. I see her one day becoming a scholar to rival Pura, possibly even surpassing her. Azu is the brother of Ivy from the general store, but he'll tell you his true identity is Azum, the big time hero. Uh, he and Sephora used to be inseparable. But ever since the dye shop started getting more clients, Azum has been left to patrol after school alone. Although his mother is Amira, one of the town gossips, he keeps a close eye on his own, uh, the going-ons within the village. It may seem like simple child's play, but people really do strain it up when they know they're being watched. As long as he is on patrol, I think we have nothing to fear in Hateno village from any would-be evildoers. Sephiro is on the is the son of Sai from the Dai shop. He's a bit of firebrained, but also one of the, my brightest students. After class, he always selects a book uh, to read quietly by himself. He already reads at an adult level and doesn't shy away from difficult subjects such as a calamity. The family business has been booming ever since Sissy came to town, which may make it hard for him to study at home. Saik uh, has an artisan spirit and would rather have his son helping out at the store than going to school. But everyone learns differently. I want our school to be a place where children can get an education no matter their deeds. I understand you'll be heading soon to Hyrule Castle to investigate the reports of strange phenomena there. I trust you'll be fine with Link at her side. Nevertheless, I can shake the strange tightness in my chest. It's similar to what I felt right before the calamity, come to think of it. How old is he? I, I did. Right before the calamity? Or right before Link awake? The children know you, Miss Zelda, their beloved children and mentor. But I know that Princess Zelda's duties are wider ranging than that. Take care, Princess, and return to us soon. I suspect it.
Are you over a hundred? Hmm. Maybe he was a child when the calamity happened. Because he looks way younger than the other old Shika. Ah, I think you weren't wearing anything. Yeah. Uh, we have more coaster ones, but we couldn't make time to take care of them. Most of the ones we have left are kept at the barn at the top of the hill. Oh, oh but if you would take any of the eggs here with you, I don't mind at all. Uh, Cuckoos produce so many eggs that there's plenty for everyone. Did you see something? Have a iron shroom? You brought this from Sissy? Wow, thank you. There's a lot of ways you can prepare mushrooms. They are tasty on their own too, just like... I just like them, okay? But that's when they're food. When you make them fashion, you lose me. It wasn't long, so long ago that doing stuff like that was completely unheard of here. The farm families don't know what to make of it either. Can you blame them? Uh, you? Uh, did you know there were such hold on election for mayor here soon, traveler? Sure, understands his position on the issue, but that doesn't change Hatten's tradition of living off the land. Uh, is there something you need to do? Have a hand room? Ah, you said this from Sissy. Thank you kindly. Also, folks don't know much about what's in now, you know? I have to vote for whoever who, for mayor if they fix up the village real nice. I mean, there's nothing wrong with her doing her fashion stuff and all, but she should get people's permission for all those mushrooms around. I haven't come here. Mm -hmm. Someday, a second store. Oh. Oh, we will open another one. Welcome to Kochidai shop. Right? So, you're a new customer, I think? No, ah. completely. Uh, well, I don't do the dying around here. You want my hubby for that? Well, this activity is getting to be a problem. I mean, I'm grateful to Sissy that our shop has taken off like this. But every day is so exhausting now. Greetings and saturations. Ah, oh, there's a weird door now here. Uh, if you are looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. <laughs> how, do, how do you do? Uh, welcome to Koshidai shop, where we live to die. If you have any dye ingredients, it's 20 rupees to dye an item that includes our service charge, of course. Let's get going and die your get up to... Uh, holy, that's a lovely paraglider you got there. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Nowadays, not only do we dye clothes, we also offer a fabric rework service. Bring me some fabric and I can rework your paraglider with flying colors. <laughs> you may be a first time customer, but that's fine. We have a special introduction for to our new service for folks like you. And that, your very own introductory fabric. Ah, CC fabric. Um, the fabric bearing the CC brain design. It looks like it could be used to make a glider. <laughs> Have you dropped by Vintas clothing at the village entrance yet? CC, the famous designer who runs this place now, cooked up the cutting edge design on this fabric. Every region has its own unique fabric designs. Keep an eye out for them wherever you go. Think of me if you find some new fabric, won't you? We can rework your paraglider with it for you to fly the skies in style. <laughs> Dying close to the color of your choice or reworking paragliders with some new color. Your way, you just take 20 ropes. Let's rework the paraglider. <laughs> this is your first time reworking a paraglider, is it? Don't worry, I'll do all the work. You just hand over the fabric and leave the rest to me. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's it. Uh, so which fabric do you have in mind for our paraglider rework today? Our fabric? That's cool. Hmm. I gotta translate that afterwards. I don't know what's in the middle. Make something house. 
could be your house, but there's one other charge. Mm, no, if they were a bit more symmetrical, maybe. This one's full. And that? I thought I had more. I think that's the best one so far. Enjoy business, this won't take moments. No watching paint dry for you. What? Sure. Setting the fan, ready to launch. Launch. Yeah, I'll do. Looking forward to your next visit. <laughs> now go out and paint the town red. Did he say that because it is red? That's nice. So we can see it. Let's see if we can change that. Just to check. I got a favor to ask. It's not enough for me to just rework with fabric to bring me. I want to dye my hand, uh, make my own patterns. Just like Sissy, of course. Hers are all original designs. And making fabrics from scratch seems like a lot of hard work. But that's where you come in. Could you cast around for some reference material I could use as inspiration? First, I'm thinking I want to see visuals of the monster they call a chuchu. What kind of chuchu? That kind of chuchu is everywhere, even just outside the village. But I'm too pain hearted to get near them. I think uh, if I could see a regular chuchu for myself, not a fire chuchu or a chuchu, it would help a lot. Okay, photographing chuchu. You make a chuchu pattern. Mm, huh. <laughs> if you're not a pigment of my imagination, you must be a customer. <laughs> then close the color, the way that clothes. <laughs> now then, I can either dye your clothes or remove the dye from some dye dubs and then return them to the original color. Please dye. <laughs> Wonderful, now wait up here, just a moment. <laughs> uh, it's time to tint. Another day to dye the whole outfit all at once. Alright. Just that color, or go ahead and change clothes. Sure. And some clothes that actually can dice, okay? Yeah. Okay, so those two special there don't change. Ah, I think at least the, the cat could change. No tomatoes. Tomatoes are easy, I don't use that much. Oh, what a wonderful tone that is. I might try that out on one of my outfits. And how is it? You find it palatable? Uh, if you like to do a red eye, just let me know. Yeah. We can change the eagle's outfit because the whole point of that was being red. Otherwise, it's just a different uh, version of the eagle's outfit. Mm, frogs I barely use. Yeah, those. I can get them at almost any tree, right? I just never use them. Hey! Mm, just... Ah, this one changes the other one as well. I don't like this cap. Yeah. I think it's the closest to the color of his hair. Wow, what a waste. Ah, wood. Oh, I have more pine cones than wood. Uh, but I guess I come along wood more easily. Okay, now I have the full welcoming suit. Yeah, the cap isn't good. It's the closest one to his hair, but it isn't good. Oh well, actually, yeah, that would be if I was wearing the whole set, but that looks better now. You have a quest? I think he was saying something. I didn't pay attention. Hey, Prima. I have no idea what and 
could be so stubborn. He would always humor me before we got married, no matter what I asked. Uh, would it be so hard for him to wear a simple sissy brain hat? I don't understand why he's this that set against it. Oh, can I help you? Oops, I really can't be dwelling on that right now. No, I'm on the clock. Hello there. We're having nice weather again today. Welcome to Tompu Inn. Will you be staying with us today? Regular bed is 20. I feel like looking for more relaxing or sort of mind and body experience. You can have one of our extra soft downy beds for 30 rupees. You have soft beds? Wow. Yes, they're much more comfortable to sleep than our standard beds. You wake up feeling nice and refreshed. Everyone who sleeps in one talks about how they feel brimming with energy. Never mind. Wow. They care in this case. Okay, so, maybe next time Wharton is leaving carelessly against the terrace. I'll catch him off guard and jump ahead on his head. You Wharton, this is ridiculous. I don't remember. Were you the guy that used to sit here? That was just passing by. Hey there, brother. If oh, if you don't know me, I'm a worker at the inn. Uh, whoever's at the counter right now can help you out if you need something. It's probably my wife, Prima. You'll be really dealing with. Every time we show my face around there, she demands to know why I'm not wearing CC brain clothes. So I'm keeping my distance until the fat dies down. I never knew my dear Primo was the type to get so worked up about fashion. Mm. Yeah, you need something else? Something now related to the inn? Have a highland shroom. Ooh. Ooh, for me? Thanks. My wife loves sissy stuff, so I'll save it as a treat for her. I'm not too into the designs myself, but she's pretty pleased with them. <laughs> and she does look incredibly cute when she wears them too. Yeah, the sis is alright in my book. Uh, I'm not the only one. Going from the farm on the hill said the same thing. Hmm. Are those two still here? Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, or a A visitor. I'm sorry, I don't have it in me to be welcoming right now. Uh. I'll take care of it later. Maybe by this evening. What's the matter? My hometown is Luring Village, a small fishing village along the shore southeast of here. Uh, it's been suffering constant pirate attacks. I heard it's almost entirely destroyed. That I didn't hear. At least the villagers fled without any loss of life, or so they say. <sighs> but what good is it if all their homes are destroyed? I'm afraid that the village is finished. My poor father. He was the head of Luring Village. Uh, the village was his whole life. It is really, if it is really gone, I worry that the shock could finish him. Uh, where I'm from, we believe in welcoming everyone with a smile. That's why I don't want anyone from home to see me so down. Yeah, I remember uh, Roselle's daughter. That's why I want to see how she was. Ah, uh, the dog's here. Uh, I'm in the middle of playing spies now. My job is to investigate the village. I started the school, then pass in front of the old Mary's Reed's house. After that, I go to the Poon Inn, then Hateno Pasture on top of the hill. I better get going. I don't want spy number one to yell at me. What are you looking at? Come on. <laughs> oh, a red bow. Did I have one? Did this take a while to talk to everybody? Scoop it out. There was something like that in the previous one. With magnesis. Okay, this looks a bit more complex.
I think the chest would be in there. The heart? Okay, I'm gonna check it down here. Attach anymore. There you go. This this one is attached just here. Okay. Oh yeah. You know, are those saved here? Oh, I can use it here. Uh, maybe it's to prevent me from getting that. We'll save. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, there it is. Nice on a long surge. That was it. Yeah. Can I just nice? What a mess. What a mess. Okay. Maybe you had them. Your hair wasn't like that. You had a ponytail and the front was kind of like the hero of times. Uh, hey there, uh, a fellow rain fan, are you? I love the it outdoors in the rain. It makes the lane smell so rich and alive. So where to see a traveler out here? Unless, uh oh, huh? you haven't come to steal away my darling wife, have you? I'm just kidding, you. No doubt you're here, to, you're here looking for the farm or the research lab. A farm? Oh, we're not on your way to Hateno Pasture up ahead? I know most folks here are upset with CC brand fashion right now. But the best thing about this village is and always will be the bounty of its farmlands. Have a bottle of our freshly squeezed milk. Uh, you know what I mean. Mm. If you haven't had it for the farm, maybe you're looking for a research lab. Or oh, research lab. Oh, so weren't you on your way to research lab up, up the hill? They started the place as a center to research ancient ruins. Now though, I've heard they they are hard at work on some kind of petting. Ah, the, the poor pet. I think. Anyway, for a while the place was quiet, but now Rob is back again. So the banging clanging of is as fierce as it ever was. Whatever this petting, they're hard at work on it. My bet is that it will go down as one of the great inventions of the century. What, darling wife? <laughs> Sorry, but nothing comes between the two of us, not even you. I met my wife in Lurin Village to the south of here. She is the most beautiful woman in Hateno village, maybe even all of Hyrule. The two of us have always guarded the windmills in shifts. 
except something bad is happening in her hometown and she's being pretty broken up about it. She's at home now resting. Oh. I picked this spot because you can see both the windmills and my house clearly from here. If anything happens, I can come running at once. So are we done here? I don't want to take my eyes off the windmills or the house for too long. Uh, yeah, I gotta remember to visit her and the guy at the dueling uh, peaks stable when I finish the pirates to check how they're doing. Hatten Pasture, Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. Oh, I don't. Farmer's Pitch Fork, a farming tool used to collect hay efficiently. It's light enough to be used by anyone. The four prongs are very sharp. They're not dot. Oh, not a bottle. Hateno cow. Originally originating in Hateno village, these cows are kept as livestock primarily for their milk. Their horns are smaller than a water buffalo's and they are much more docile and therefore easier to raise. Their horns are decorated with bright colors when taken out to pasture. And I can't. Oh, they run. I... Okay. Sunk with all it. Uh, coin. Uh, how do I fix this? Do I dive into the pond? But it's so dark, anyways, I can't swing. Uh, uh, what's with the blank stare? Uh, oh, he must be a customer. Uh, what's that you got there? I have a highly shroom. I'm from Sissy, huh? Ah. But I can see you mean well enough with the gift, so I'm happy to accept. Thanks. Sorry, but if you're here on farm business, it's my daddy want. He's in the house. I need to get my hands on that message bottle floating in the pond quick. Mm. I finally found the letter my great grandpa left, but I can't reach for it. My arms are too short, the pond's too deep to swing. Uh, anyways, I don't know how. But the letter has an advice I need to get this farm back on its feet. If I don't get my hands on it, we're sunk. Letter new specialty with marriage cheese fermentation can name too early. Oh. So I want to talk to your father. Then I'll give you that. Ah, post that already. Thanks. Hmm. Well, you're a new face from here. If I'm any judge, welcome to Hotel Pasture. Time for me and the cows both to hit the hay. Hmm? Hmm? You got some for me? Have a hand show. This is from Sissy. Isn't that sweet? These are tasty if you fry them up as a snack. Ooh. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the gift. Mm. But me and my daughter Koi and old man talk don't care much about clothes. Well, I use fashion in the field, right? Still, I'm glad that's all you came for. Oh. If you told me you were here to pick up some fresh milk, 
I haven't been in a tight spot. Make no mistake, fresh milk. Don't tell me you haven't heard of my farm's fresh milk. It's the best in Hateno. The secrets in the special feed I make for my cows. It gives their milk an extra little something you don't get anywhere else. Except I've been having trouble getting my hands on acorns to mix up any more of it. There should be tons of acorns all over the ground in the forest all back. No idea where they all went. Probably the squirrels started taking uh, over and grabbing them all for themselves. Well, sometimes they'll drop the acorns they carry in their cheeks if startle them. But they're quick little creatures. <sighs> I need at least three acorns to make my special feed, so it's a real problem for me. Here's some acorns. Uh? No fooling. Well. I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Not with me at my wits end at all. I don't know if this rightly makes up for it, but I have a bottle on me. Oh. I was keeping it squirrel away, but no reason to be a miserable body now. I better go mix up a batch of feed right away now that I got some more acorns. <laughs> Whoever wants uh, more fresh milk, I'll swap you for some three acorns. Uh, call it a special trait just for you. Good. Then express calls. Okay, complete. Yo, wake up. Come on, thanks. Put your back into it. Ground grumble. Damn, I want to wait for him to awake now. Sorry, Pukos. You're just in the wrong place. No. Oh, you're all here. Pastures are great, huh? They got so many calls. Yes, but only in Hatena Village are the calls as delicious as everyone else. Uh, what do you say we get ourselves some milk? Sure, as a farmer or. Uh, thanks for help. I got to mix more of my special feed. I'm happy. The cows are happy. Everyone's happy. Uh, if you bring me three acorns, there's another bottle. Not okay, goodbye. Uh, time was you could find acorns all over the ground. The forest are back. Thank those girls. Damn it, I want to speak to your grandfather before. Ah, now you're here. Where were you? Uh, what do you want with an old man like me? Have a highland shrew? Yeah, there's that as well. You say this from Sissy. Well, that's generous of her. Thanks. What's this? That's a fine looking mushroom about me. Seems like lately Sissy's mushrooms are popping up everywhere around here. Makes my eyes water a bit to see those flashy colors everywhere, wherever I turn. My family and all my friends my age tends to take life slower than she does. Still and all, it'd be rude to turn down a generous gift. Thank you. Oh, what is it? Well, could you remain so early in the morning? Have questions about the pasture? My son Dance handles all that now. My only job these days is looking after the cuckoos that Taman left in my care. I thought I'd help her out a bit now that her husband's gone to do his part over a local landing. The cuckoos are due to their walk up the hill to the laboratory after this, just as soon as I work myself up to it. Mm, so that's probably what he was. Ah, he's back there. But okay, now I've got a better solution. I told you, whatever you're after, I'm too busy to, huh? That's my great grandpa's message bottle. But how did you. Did you fish it out for me? Thanks. There should be a letter in this bottle with advice for getting our farm back on its feet. Let's see here. Mm, yes, there we go. Gosh, do I miss great grandpa's handwriting? His paymentship was so messy that no one but him and his family could read it. 
Oh, I hadn't thought of that. New specialty with merge cheese, fermentation, can name too early. Ah, this could work. Sorry to run, but I got to put great grandpa's advice in practice right away. If you need me, I'll be back at the house. Hey! It's right over there. Sir, you have to point me where the house is. Come by a bit later, so I can thank you for her, for the help. Uh, if I play my cards right, I can start making a signature product. It would be good not to just open for our farm, but for the whole village. <laughs> I'm itching to get started. Yeah, I think I'll report back to him before reporting back to CC. I... I don't think I'll have any uh, impact on the outcome, but... Uh, if I can, on the off chance that I can, I would prefer to keep it as it was in the previous game. I don't like this huge mushrooms around. Ah, good, you show up. Take a look at this. <laughs> I call it Hateno cheese. The message my great grandpa left behind had the recipe. Wow, you fermented the cheese so fast. It's springy on the outside but melty on the inside and so delicious. You think you're dreaming. But back to the reason I called you here, well, you know, I couldn't have made this without you, so I wanted to be the first to have some. Uh, anyway, consider this my thanks, go on, take it already. Hateno cheese. A cheese made from Hateno cow's milk, uh, add it to a warm dish and enjoy its rich flavor and melty texture. Yeah. As I understand it. Great grandpa worked with the mayor back then on this Hateno cheese to put our village on the map. Ah, so they come from a long line of mayors. But it was ahead of its time, the villagers rejected it. Uh, having eaten this, I think they were nuts. Now, this is the time for Hateno cheese to make a splash in the culinary world. I'm sick of fashion getting all the attention lately. It's really eating into our business. But if anything will bring the customers in, is this. I say it's time to do some renovation around here. Maybe here is good. No, I like it better this way. Yeah, that'll work. What? Oh! <laughs> Anna, the Hateno cheese shop is complete. What do you think? Uh, next step is to get those folks over at General Store to start stocking it. That reminds me, you won't get this offer anywhere else, but around here I'll give you some fresh milk instead of rupees. Ah. Uh, I'll make the dream of my great grandpa gave up on. I'll make the dream my great grandpa gave up on come true, and this farm will be busier than average in the bargain. <laughs> so you've come to visit me again, uh, right? Good. 20. Oh, that's a bit expensive to buy a bunch. But I can make recipes with them. Ah. Uh, this sound like out of the blue, but you want some hunter cheese, I'd be fine giving you some if you want. And don't worry, if you can afford it, I'll accept fresh milk as straight. So hang on, I can get a. Um, hmm. Can get an acorn. Can trade three acorns for a milk that I can trade for a cheese. For customers willing to track directly to the pasture, it's the least I can do. Uh, yeah, let's trade. Yeah, I don't want to spend. Uh, no, goodbye. No, no. If you're ready, that's okay. Just be sure to visit again. Uh, how many? Mm, I don't think we need those in any recipe. Oh. Here's some acorns. Ooh. The three acorns, sure enough. Here you go. Our special brain fresh milk. <laughs> I 
I just wonder if it'll time you wanna bring me some more cards, I appreciate it. Ah! I didn't notice that when I left. Do you have a name? Hateno cheese is now for sale at Hateno Pasture. Uh, catch it, gloop. When did you get that? Done. Ah. Mm. Let's train. Ah. Let's trace a bottle of fresh milk to one chunk ah. of Hateno. Thanks, it is health. Your choice presenting a chunk of thick, rich, highly nutritious, and absolutely unbeatable Hateno cheese. Ah. <laughs> if you're here for the Hateno cheese, pick out whichever block you like from the ones lined up there. I also buy things uh, if you're in the market to sell whatever you don't need. I'll sell, no, goodbye. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? That's okay, just be sure to visit the game. Oh Pizza! Oh but I don't have I don't have wheat. I have rice. Can I make pizza with rice? We can make flour out of rice. So we can probably make a weird pizza with that. Oh that was the way to Hateno Beach, wasn't it? Yeah, Hateno Beach, Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. Ah this Ah, there's a guardian here. There wasn't any at his place. <laughs> oh, poor Zdari should be around here. Oh, he comes pretty close. Uh... Huh. No. Examine. I think we reach it. Let's get back here. I need a claw for the statue over there. Do they always fall in the same places? On his body, or okay, so now the claw. <laughs> Nader's claw. This valuable claw was once nearly frozen. Attached to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power, or it can be cooked or sold for some rupees. Some rupees. Oh, it burns. You come all the way here. Oi. Yes. What uh, do you see on me? Out of walking, assume he's got nothing but free time. I might not seem busy to you, but taking care of the cuckoos that I'm gonna left you in my care is a big part of my day. I thought I'd help her out a bit. No, no, no. Every day, the cuckoos walk up to you mm. here. This laboratory is mostly used by a pair of researchers, Pura and Robbie. Nobody uses it in, for a long spell, but now it seems Rob is back. Better find where I put those earplugs. So, I I didn't check up there. So, here. Hmm. Ah! Oh, the towers. Oh, Rodania. Same ones. Read Pura's diary. Beat. I grew frustrated with being treated like a child, so I resumed my age booster experimentations in earnest. The anti-aging device reversed more than a hundred years in an instant, so I reflected on the results and moderated the output. Now, when I cautiously exposed myself to its rays, it returned 
I returned to my 20 year old form, just as I had hoped. Success. Yes, so she's no basis for any time period pass between games. But she just made a fountain of youth. I'm so happy that I can once again reach high places without using a jetpack. My 20 year old body doesn't suffer from sleepless nights researching. And what's more, my skin's perfect, no complaints. Yeah, she didn't just reverse her her body, but her mind and all are were restored as well. Three volumes of my diary are hidden away now. I'll place the last one at the northeastern edge of a color away there. Do I have to find them in order? I think I would have found one there. The lab there's the perfect hiding uh, for hiding things. I'm sh it's such a remote location. I'm sure no one will ever come across it. 